What's up guys welcome to our channel where today we will discuss the best 3D printers in 2023 according to their performance budget value and more check out the description for the latest prices and information. Now let's get started if you want to save some money and still get a solid product check out the Elegoo Mars 3. The Mars 3 is the sixth version of Elegoo's popular budget printer and it combines all the best parts of previous Mars printers into a well-rounded package preserving the same workhorse personality we've always enjoyed. With its 143 by 90 by 165 mm build volume, it's pretty big for a standard resin 3D printer and, in packing 4098 by 2560 pixels, can print at an ultrafine resolution of 35 microns. In addition to a powerful light source, the Mars 3 is flush with small, user-friendly features. Its 3.5-inch color touchscreen sits stylishly flush to the front of the machine, the resin vat is metal with neat screws to fix it in place, and feet on the bottom to keep the delicate FEP from making contact with your workbench. With a price tag hovering around $209 these days, its specs, looks, and the fact that it comes with a one-year subscription to Cheetubox Pro, worth $169 by itself, makes a good case for the Mars 3 being the best budget 3D printer currently available. Up next in fourth place is the Creality Hallet 1 Pro. Where cheaper resin 3D printers do the basics well and not a lot else, the Creality Hallet 1 Pro does the basics and throws an unorthodox build volume, Wi-Fi connectivity with useful features, and a slick user interface into the mix. At $349, the Hallet 1 Pro does a lot to justify its small bump in price over our cheaper picks above, and even then, it doesn't cost that much more. It near square 130 by 122 mm print plate offers a large area to print and be great for accommodating batches of parts and sprawling, awkward print orientations. In terms of printable Z-axis height, the Hallet 1 Pro offers 160 mm. The print resolution is on par with the Mars 2 for this, but it is by a long stretch, a more modern experience. You get a Wi-Fi connection and cloud operability that actually makes sense, with computerless slicing, app operability, and webcam monitoring if you have a USB cam handy, plus onboard model storage. The third product on our list is the Creality Ender 3S1. Creality's Ender 3S1 introduces a lot of first for the series. Besides a dual motor-driven Z-axis, it adds auto bed leveling, a removable spring steel print bed, and, perhaps most notable of all, the compact Sprite Direct Extruder. Just a list of bits of a printer, not so interesting, but the crucial point is that the sum of all these parts is an effortless and premium feeling 3D printer that puts out quality prints and is just plain nice to live with doing so. Filament loading is a cinch compared to its cheaper stablemates thanks to the direct extruder, no iffy Bowden tubing to worry about, and in the extruder itself, you have a powerful dual-geared assembly that pinches the filament from two sides. Powerfully so, too, thanks to reduction gearing that lets Creality get away with a lightweight stepper motor, cutting mass and improving the S1's ability to print well. The second product on our list is the Fulsun V400. While the Fulsun V400 is priced near the high end of what we'd consider a consumer 3D printer, $850, your money gets you a machine with attractive hardware features, a generous O300X 410mm build volume, and at least one core feature that is relatively unique on the market right now, Clipper firmware. To be clear, most desktop filament 3D printers can be configured with Clipper, but the V400 comes pre-installed with it, eliminating any effort on your part to use the firmware's benefits. You get a gorgeous user interface in a separate 7-inch touchscreen display and remote access using the mainsail web interface. The system is a joy to use and feels premium all the way through. Fulsun's claims to speed hold up, the V400 is much faster than similarly priced machines, though something we weren't so impressed by was the iffy performance with high temperature materials. It can heat to 300 degrees Celsius at the hot end, so it should be capable enough, but it requires effort on your part to dial in. Finally, our top best 3D printers is the Anycubic Cobra. The Anycubic Cobra is a capable 3D printer offering some top drawer features for very little money, making it the perfect entry point for anyone looking to get into 3D printing. 
The automatic bed leveling, direct extruder, PI-coated removable bed, and sensorless homing are commonly seen on machines costing much more than the Cobra's $259. Its 222 by 222 by 252 mm build volume is fairly average for desktop FDM 3D printers, and the large touchscreen UI makes interacting with the printer a cinch. Plus, with the helpful inclusion of belt tensioning knobs, you don't have to go down a fiddly rabbit hole to tighten belts manually. The Cobra is a cheap, capable printer with a handful of useful features that make it a step up over the Creality Ender 3v2 our former longtime top pick for beginners. So that's it for the best 3D printers of 2023. Like comment and subscribe to receive notifications about our latest videos.